Hello, it's Jennifer from Sea Lemon. I need to make myself a new notebook that will help me organize and archive the projects in my current notebook. And I talked about how I use the disk binding system to help me organize all my projects, all in this video. You can watch it to learn how I keep one notebook for my notes and sketches, and I keep another notebook to archive all of those pages for the year. It's sort of my own custom system that helps me organize, and since I'm in the process of making a new notebook, I thought I'd bring you along with me and show you how I make it. Disc binding is pretty versatile, and once you have the disc and the punch, you can make pretty much any size notebook you want, and placemats make great DIY covers. You can find the vinyl ones almost anywhere. They're inexpensive, they're durable, they're flexible, and they can come in some pretty nice patterns. If you're not into this style of binding, you can also use placemats for covers, for spiral binding or Coptic stitch binding, which I have a tutorial for. I'll put that link along with all of the supplies I use in this video in the video description below, and let's get into it. So here's my current notebook, and it's starting to get full of pages that are of projects I've already completed. And I'd like to keep the disc and the cover on, so what I'm going to do is take those completed pages out and put them in a new notebook. I got two placemats for the cover of this new notebook, and I got these from Ikea. First, I trace a page from the notebook to measure out the size of the cover. Then I measure out a centimeter below that, so it covers the DIY dividers that I'm going to make that will be sticking out in the notebook. Here's the divider that I made for my other notebook, and you could just use this as a template as well. I cut the cover out of the placemat with a utility knife and a roller, and then to make the corners a bit less sharp, I use a round corner punch. I do this on all four corners, and then I use that front cover as a template to make the back cover on the other placemat. I do the same process to the back cover. I trim it out and punch all four corners to make them round. Now I want to make a new divider for this notebook, and I showed you how to make this paper one in this video right here. It's all about DIY disc bound covers and dividers. It will show you a few different ideas you can try with different materials for a small size notebook and a large one, so go check it out. I will also link it down below. To make this paper divider, I'm tracing one of the covers onto a piece of 12 by 12 inch cardstock. And I'm using a bone folder along the bottom to score a line, which I'm going to fold over. I put some glue stick along that area, and then fold over that little flap of paper. And then press the bone folder along that fold to smooth it out. This extra fold is just going to make a thicker tab for the divider. Then I trim off any excess paper, and I use the corner punch to round the bottom of the divider, but I leave the top corners just the way they are. I use a piece of tape along the top and I just put it halfway because I'm going to fold over the other half on the other side of the divider. This tape will make the punched holes fray a little bit less if I'm going to be taking the divider in and out of the notebook. And then I trim off any excess tape along the edges and pop this divider into the hole punch to make the holes. You could also round the top corners of this divider, but I just leave them the way they are. Now I need to punch the holes on the top and bottom cover, and for each, I sandwich them in between two pieces of paper. Because this is thick vinyl material, this will help your punch make cleaner holes and prevent anything from getting stuck in your punch. And if you're using a different punch, I recommend doing a test first to see if it will punch through thick material, because some of them are stronger than others, and I will link the one that I'm using down below. Now with everything punched, I'm going to put these Happy Planner expander rings on. Now you can use any kind of disc or ring that you want. I'm going with these really large ones because I will have a lot of paper to put in this notebook. Then I can fill it up with all my pages. And pop in my front cover. Now when my everyday notebook fills up with completed projects, I can move those pages over to my new notebook to archive them. That way I can start with clean pages in my everyday notebook and I'll have less distractions when I'm working on my current projects. As the year goes by, this notebook will fill up all the way and then I'll have an archive notebook with all of my projects in order. Here's the notebook I filled up last year in 2017, so you can see it's all filled up, all really organized, and it's nice to have some place to reference old projects and just flip through the pages if I need to. 
I hope this gives you some inspiration and I know some of you are asking for more disc binding related videos. So if you want to see more on this channel, leave a comment below, tell me what kind of stuff you want to see. One thing I get asked a lot is how durable the disc binding system is. So I was thinking of making a video to test that, to show you how durable it is. So if you want to see that, Tell me in the comments below, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and tap that bell icon so you can sign up for post notifications so you know when I post a new video. Also, I have a little update. This channel now has a sponsor button, and currently you can only see it from desktop, so if you're watching this from a mobile device, go on your computer, go on your desktop, go to my channel and you can see the sponsor button, or go to any of my videos and you can see the button below the video. If you become a sponsor of this channel, you get a badge that shows up in the comments and you can click on the sponsor button to learn more perks that you can get. And I'm still on Patreon. This sponsor button is just another way to support this channel, which helps me put more videos up that are free for you to watch on YouTube. If you want to learn more about my Patreon rewards, I will put a link down below and you can also check out a link right here. And I want to clarify, don't feel obligated to spend money if you can't afford to support this channel. I appreciate any kind of support you want to give, even the free kind, liking, subscribing, all that good stuff. It's also free to follow me on Patreon if you just want to see the updates. That's totally cool too. And if you want to see more disc binding type videos, I'll put a playlist around here. All of those links will be down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!